SCP-10087. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-10087 is located on the campus of... The doorway leading to SCP-10087 is constructed of reinforced steel with an electro-release lock mechanism. It has been disguised to resemble a janitorial closet, consistent with the design of the building. The lock mechanism on the doorknob will then release unless Votes are applied in conjunction with counterclockwise rotation of the key. The inside of the door is lined with six centimeters of industrial foam padding due to the results of the final exploration. No personnel are permitted access to SCP-10087. SCP-10087 is an unlit platform staircase. Stairs descend at a 38 degree angle for 13 steps before reaching a semicircular platform of approximately 3 meters in diameter. Descent direction rotates 108 degrees at each platform. The design of SCP-10087 limits subjects to a visual range of approximately 1.5 flights. A light source is required for any subjects exploring SCP-10087, as there are no lighting fixtures or windows present. Lighting sources brighter than 75 watts have shown to be ineffective, as SCP-10087 seems to absorb excess light. Subject report and audio recordings confirm the sound of a crying, pleading child estimated to be located approximately 200 meters below the initial platform. However, any attempts to descend the staircase have failed to bring subjects closer to the source. The depth of descent calculated from Exploration 5, the longest exploration, is shown to be far beyond both the possible structure of both the building and geological surroundings. At this time, it is unknown if SCP-087 has an endpoint. SCP-10087 has undergone four video record explorations by Class D personnel. Each subject conducting an exploration has encountered SCP-10087-10-1, which appears as face with no visual pupils, nostrils, or mouth. The nature of SCP-10087-10-1 is entirely unclear but it has been determined that it is not the source of the pleading. Subjects exhibit feelings of intense paranoia and fear when faced with SCP-10087-1, but is undetermined whether said feelings are abnormal or simply natural reactions. Anendum. Over a period of two weeks following Exploration 5, several members of the staff and students from Campus reported knocking at a variable rate of 1 to 2 seconds per knock coming from the interior of SCP-10087. The door leading to SCP-10087 has been fitted with 6 centimeter thick industrial padding. All reports of knocking have ceased.